195. My friends, welcome to block 395 on this very day, Saturday, 26th of January in the year 2019. I, Alan, speak to you. I am your Messiah. Trust me, what I say makes sense. And I know that basically each one of us is the Messiah. For we are the gods, and we shall enter the configurations as the vowels within the consonants. Here it is on the wall, Jehovah's name, once called Yahweh in ancient times. My friends, listen to me and let us live. I bring to you the big five on the table as five large Beautiful roses. I say to the big five, my name is Alan, the man with the understanding of life everlasting to mankind, plants and animals. Already mankind openly talks of our environment becoming less likely to support us. We are increasing rapidly in numbers. The Big Five become temperamental in power and strength. Is there the likelihood of one country superseding another? My friends, I, Alan, put you all on a solid base. We are still as children growing up I give you the guidelines of humanity worldwide. We live a little, play a little, 
contribute to our governments for schooling and growing up. I place on the table Shakespeare, the Robin, and Fish. On the top of Shakespeare is a design that can be thought of as one living cell. Either amoeba or paramecium. It is concerned with living as with the robin and fish. The roses themselves need nourishment. We want to live, all of us, in peace. My friends, this can be done worldwide. We are eager for advancement in science. No longer in the war mode, but in the peace trains to earth. My friends, I wrote only yesterday Blog 395 in up team pages. I tear them up. There is only one answer to peace everlasting on the Holy Temple. And that is peace trains to earth. My friends, I am totally adamant to the advancement of man. And that is the peace trains to err and the total integration of the Big Five into one unit. Named Peace. On the Holy Temple. My friends, this is solid work from my hand holding the pen. and associating myself with William Shakespeare and all humanity. Including plants and animals. A 
and Jehovah. And the three tenses. My friends, I place before you all aspects of mankind, plants and animals. I place before you the big five representing government, peoples, law and order. Our species is so extraordinary. That number 10 of Moses has far more to offer than just the Ten Commandments. That number 10 and the binary 1 and 0 I am sure held the mathematical genius of those early pharaohs. Jehovah's name, made up of the three tenses, informs us of time travel. For we are the gods and we shall enter the configurations as the vowels within the consonants. Jehovah with the vowels within the consonants. Jehovah without the consonants. My friends, I ask for a moratorium whereby all war modes are laid to rest and the ultimate realization of time and space and vowels within the consonants will be researched. We all work together at a resounding pace to feature that which those early Egyptians may well have touched upon. My friends, my karyotic number demands it. It is related to that of Moses and those early pharaohs. The Ten Commandments indeed paved the way for the peaceful society. But the war mode lingered on and today presents ourselves with extinction. My friends, we turn back to the pharaohs, first by living in peace on the holy temple, and then our journeys into space. My friends, 
It is all so simple and realistic. Man is God. Man is conscious. Our brain is so remarkable in communication. Just 26 letters in the alphabet. Making up holy works in religion. And the works of William Shakespeare. Music, song and dance. Peace. The war mode is incomprehensible. Delivering us into oblivion. My friends, what I feature on the table and on the wall today is the very essence of the requirement for peace on the Holy Temple. My friends, I do not preach to you. I simply, as karyotype 47, give to you the significance of those early pyramids of Egypt and the more fundamental meaning of the Ten Commandments. Hidden secrets are there that can relate to the very heart of the configuration or tentacles of Jehovah from the bang to the crunch. My friends, the miracle of life itself on our planet Earth is associated with the very tentacles of Jehovah. We are very much a part of Jehovah and we depend on each other. The void is an item associated with the elimination of Jehovah's ten formations. My friends, I have hit upon something that asserted itself from the controlled paranoia within my brain. I have turned the felony of injustice to life everlasting for mankind. My friends, who could wish for more? Not only do I have the largest collection of shirts ties and underwear on the world stage, but I save mankind himself from extinction. My friends, the last 2,000 years of mankind's history is presented today by saying, start the peace trains to earth. Absolute innocence was taken away from us in Jerusalem. At her was presented to us Abraham and Ishmael. Moses led his people to Mount Sinai and placed the number 10. 
My friends, honesty is my middle name. I do not succumb to theft. Nor do I kill. I am the saviour of mankind. I pronounce on this very day, the 26th of January 2019, that mankind is released from his bondage. His bondage relates to remaining on our holy temple up to the big crunch whence we are destroyed when entering the black hole. My friends, nowhere in Jehovah's black holes, and he has millions of them, can an event like evolution be repeated. My friends, we hold on to what we have. We deliver peace. My friends, all species of life are so incredible. I, Alan, your Messiah, made by you yourselves, give the proclamation. I have received greatness through your very hands by saving you. I am the Messiah. I can assure you that I am more surprised than anyone. I am so incapable and inferior, a big nose and inability to communicate. But I did work for a living and live in Shakespeare's country. My friends, my communication to you is just and direct from the very atoms of Jehovah. His atoms were directed into that in my mind called controlled paranoia, seeking goodness and mercy. I wish you all on the world stage to accept my calling. A Jew am I, and related to Shakespeare. The Tullus is on the wall. The whole of life is on the wall and on the table. I pronounce quite clearly, I am the anointed one. I have been anointed, not on my own volition, but that of the media. I am simply an ordinary individual with controlled paranoia. I bleed, laugh and cry, work and play. I have reached
reached the age of 80. I live in comfort, yet austerity. I announce to the whole world my genome is that from Abraham, Moses and Shakespeare. I speak justice and mercy to all peoples on the world stage. We are halfway through from the Big Bang. Jehovah is mightily proud of our attainments. Jehovah looks forward to our ingenuity in adapting to his body of the three tenses. Jehovah perceives us as gods. He does not want us to kill each other, especially in the usage of atom bombs. I, Alan, announce to the peoples on the world stage, I do not kill or steal. I produce the blogs on youtube.com slash Alan Sky 666. The Bible has awaited for my appearance. I have arrived. My journey has been slightly arduous, somewhat enjoyable. But the greatest pleasure in giving mankind life everlasting. My friends, seek ye peace to remain in one peace. Life is full of trials and errors, joy and happiness, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I call on all peoples on the world stage, peace trains to err. The Latimer beam radiated from her into the domes in every household. Journey by instruction into Jehovah's ten formations. My friends, I am sure that that number ten has the greatest significance to man's security and of life everlasting. My friends, to all peoples on the world stage. The family unit is incredible. The Ten Commandments are incredible in their appearance from the hand of Moses. My friends, for an individual like myself, a saviour of mankind, is incredible. My friends, go forward in life into Jehovah's Ten Formations. Keep the laws of your country. Go forth and multiply. My friends, I, Alan, identify with each one of you on the world stage. All eight and a half billion of you. 
But is there anybody that can identify with me? Not one of you. Other than dear William Shakespeare. I say to dear William, you identified with many characters. But could you identify with eight and a half billion? Shakespeare answers, Alan, the living cell of man's body has flourished to enormous proportions. Eight and a half billion is indeed difficult to conceive. But Jehovah's kingdom now exists to ten formations. Eight and a half billion within ten formations is an insignificant number. But you must avoid the void. My friends, the species of man himself is incredible. Hold on to the banister as you climb the stairs. And don't blow overboard when on holiday. Each one of us is needed.